What's going on YouTube, man? It's your boy Joe, and I'm back with another video. So man, this is day three of my car being in the shop. Um, Saturday, I want to say, um, you know, like I told y'all, man, accidentally discharged the firearm inside of the vehicle, you know, while me and my son and his mom was uh, in the car. Luckily, nobody got hurt, thankfully. Um, you know, most thankful for the fact that nobody got hurt. Um, you know, but then secondly, man, I'm, I'm kind of devastated, man, that I did that to my car. You know, they're not making any more challenges, man, especially not that challenge, you know. Um, you know, with that being the last of a dying breed, man, I definitely want to do what I got to do to get that baby um, taken care of and restored. Um, so as you can see, man, you know, I'm in the in the old Nissan, in the old Central, um, headed to work, doing what I gotta do, man. Um, I went up there and I talked to the technicians today. They should let me know something later on. Um, so, man, I'm gonna tap back in with y'all later and let y'all know what they gotta say. Um, I'm really hoping that they're gonna be honest with me. Um, I do a lot of business with this dealership, so, you know, I'm really hoping that they they honest with your boy and they uh you know they don't gouge me on nothing man and don't add nothing you know to what they already gotta do so with that being said man i feel like i'm still looking at a couple grand you know looking at a couple grand um potentially i'm hoping that i just hit a hold i keep saying that um I started the car up. Car started perfectly fine, like it always start up. The only thing that's missing out of the car is the cooling. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm hopeful, man. I think that I probably dodged the bullet. No pun intended. But I'm really hopeful, man. So we'll see. We'll see what they gotta say, man. We'll check back later, and I'll have more info on the situation for y'all. Stay tuned. Hey, Robert, this is Noah up in Jacksonville. How you doing, bud? Pretty good, man. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I just wanted to talk to you real quick about your Challenger. Okay. We got that dash all pulled out, and I think we've got kind of an idea of what we're looking at to get everything fixed and back together for you. All right. I'm going to run down a little list here. It's not too terribly bad. Uh, it looks like the, the leak was coming from your heater core. You went right through that puppy. You also damaged the HVAC box that goes around that heater core and keeps the conditions between outside air temp and inside air temp separated. Okay. Uh, we need to evac and recharge the, the cooling, the AC system, in order to fix all of this. Uh, we actually have the evac already done. That was part of what we asked about the other day. Okay. Uh, electronically, it does look like your center console and what we call the center stack were damaged. Uh, we've got two items here that we're looking at. One is the console bezel and one is the center stack controls. Okay. And then you have a gateway module. The gateway module is one of the security features for your vehicle. It, it, took, a, it took part of the brunt as well. And then some connectors that go with that gateway module. All together, and I know you said you wanted us to look at trying to get the leak fixed first. But with that center stack being damaged, I, they're going to have a lot of trouble doing anything in that vehicle as far as HVAC goes. Uh -huh. So I didn't know how you wanted us to do this. And since a lot of this has to require the dash coming out, it would be extremely wise to take care of that center stack and components at the same time. If we looked at all of this as one job, Everything we've got into it so far to get the dash out and get your estimate put together, all the parts that I just listed off and the labor to put it back together, you're looking at a little over four thousand dollars. My my first estimate's forty one forty. I'll be honest with you, I have a little bit of a padding built into that that number, just because once we start getting everything back together, we we don't really know what may happen or what other items may not be responding with that center, center stack being hit and that gateway module being hit. Our biggest fear is that something may get shorted or was shorted during the incident. So that is padded a little bit, 
but there is one item that's about another 450 that we're not 100% sure. That is the center stack control system. It goes behind your center stack underneath your radio. We don't know until we get everything back together if that one's going to be needed or not. So, so you're looking at on a, on on my padded estimate on the short side of the padded estimate you're looking at about 4140 plus tax. My padded estimate if we have to get the set of controls as well, you're going to be looking at about 4500 plus tax. Okay, so and this is um basically um not including other possibilities like you said shortages and stuff like that from what i'm hearing the only there's really only one item that at this point we really think is going to be could be a major issue and that's the center stack controls that's that 450. the the padding that i have in there is about a hundred dollars and that's for additional wiring repairs or anything like that okay what is the timetable on getting this all completed the biggest thing here is some of these parts are out about a week. Okay. The one that's going to slow us down the most is the HVAC box itself. It's out seven days. And we can't we can't really start putting things back together until we put that piece back in. Okay. All right. Well, well I mean, do what you guys got to do. Do what you got to okay. do, man. That's that's what I was wanting to check on and see if you're okay with that. So I'm going to start getting some stuff ordered. And once we get this thing, get all the parts here and get this back together for you, we'll reach out to you, okay? All right. Sounds good, man. Thank you. All right. No problem. Thank all you. Right. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. So, man, I just got out the phone with the dealership, man. Um, definitely hit my uh, heater core. Um, and think I went through it. So, <sighs> guess it could be worse, man. So he gonna give me some footage, man, and just kind of like go over everything, um, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, day three, man. Um, Watch your stuff. Thank you. Thank you. What? Look. Uh, you can't go that way. They said it's that first one. No one understood. I like it. I don't. How are you doing today? Okay. Uh, so Small? Yeah. I definitely don't like it. Um, my car. Right. They gotta fix it. Can't take it yet. They gotta fix it. This is actually what? the back of the shop. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Looks this like it has a ton more space in here. I know that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Here's where your leak was coming from. That's your okay. That's your heater core. Heater core. This right here. Uh huh. And I mean, you got it. You got it dead center, man. Dang. <laughs> Wow, Daddy put a hole in the heater core. Look. I'm not, uh, I'm not Daddy, sure what all pieces uh, Daddy, what is this? were pierced. We've got the quote worked up for you, though. Okay. So we've got it kind of all figured out. We had the round around here somewhere. Daddy, what is this? It's the pieces of the car. Pieces of the car? Yeah. So it went through the firewall. So it had to go through the firewall, it not, right? It did not okay. Make it through the firewall. Okay. Thank so you. So your dad. So daddy, is it So the way that this dash is set up is your uh, heater core mm -hmm. was actually right about here. Okay. It's way up in front, right behind your radio and what we call the center stack. Uh huh. So you really didn't go much further behind. Thankfully. Where that, that panel was, the mm -hmm. stereo and whatnot. It worked for a while and it turned off. So it's it maintained its ability to function for a short while mm -hmm. and then later turned off. Yeah. Wow. Yep. 
here's your front plate. Daddy. Daddy, what is And molding. Nice. And you can see. Hey, Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Son, stop. Please. Please. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. So, I know we talked about the uh, pricing. I think this was from your passenger From the side. passenger side. I don't think that was damaged. Because it started smoking, and I was wondering, was that just the it heater was, core fluid? It was cooler. Okay. That's our guess. We don't smell like an electrical short. Okay. Uh, there's a very telltale scent to that. Mm-hmm. We haven't smelled it. Just, just that heat that um coolant mm -hmm. that was the only thing that i mm -hmm. smelled and that stuff when it starts to to evaporate it it steams and it smokes. steams and yeah. smokes yeah wow yeah and then amazing come back here, i'll show you the dash But we didn't find anything else damaged in the dash area. Okay. So it's in pretty good shape. So what's the, uh, how long you think it's going to take to be once the parts get in? I think we still have three more days on parts. Okay. Tech will be back before the parts come in. Probably have you scheduled. If the service manager allows it, we might schedule you like on a next Saturday. Okay. That way it frees the tech up to work specifically on your vehicle because it's such a large job. Uh-huh. Uh, it's kind of nice not to have to try and pepper it in between other jobs. Right, right. But that's going to depend on, we, our policy is not to schedule until we have the parts. Right. Because that way we don't, we don't reserve time and then not, not Get be able it to done. use it. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to depend on if everything shows up on Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay. And then right. once we know that, I'll reach out to you and let you know what, what we're looking at. Okay. Um, so I know we kind of talked about um, pricing mm -hmm. and kind of what we were kind of quoting and looking mm -hmm. at. Um, has that changed at all? Uh -uh. Okay. No, we're still right there. Right there in that 41, 45 range? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's all right. It's going to depend on that, that control set. I don't want to... I don't want to upset you but i do think we're probably going to end up in okay so we went okay. ahead and ordered it just in case that way we don't have to worry about now we need this to come in and you're going to have to wait another five days okay so if we don't need it we won't bill it to you if we do need it we'll have it there for you okay all right well i appreciate it yeah no thank problem you. man thank no you. problem thank you no problem good to see you i hate that this is the reason but well first time for everything that's right